what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm talking about the chucky tv series in this video here today first and foremost shout out to uk because you sent me yet again another bit of interesting news regarding a project that i am looking forward to coming up this time it is chucky chucky season two looks like it'll start filming in toronto this upcoming april on april 20th through the month of august from what i see here on this uh, again this is coming to you from production weekly the site or subscription that you can subscribe to to get all the latest details about upcoming projects within the industry um i know i did a recent scream 6 video talking about this for scream 6 so chucky season 2 looks like it'll start filming in the month of april out in toronto you see all the people you'd expect to be listed here you see don mancini listed you see david david kirshner nick and tosca um eat the cat is listed there again i believe that was the working title for season one at the very bottom of this it looks like the working title for season two the very bottom last line at the end song bird now i know that a lot of us are expecting this season to premiere later this fall in the month of october on usa sci-fi you actually see that at the top of this image and they have peacock next to it and then of course shortly after it's done airing week to week on those networks it should be going to peacock so with them filming this long i don't know if that's cause to worry for any of you but I think honestly that might just be including the amount of time they think it would take in post-production because depending on how long this season is I don't think it's going to be any shorter than season one if anything it might be longer but I don't think the episode count has been revealed just yet so with them filming this long hopefully they can still make that fall release I don't see why they can't if anything put it, they, they'll put it out late October this time around and not early October like they did before late October maybe even not even october unfortunately but maybe november but if they still put it out in october that's fine because they could of course always release the episodes while they're still working on putting the final touches of the ones that they are still working on in post but it just seems like they are going to be rushing it just seems like that i mean they have time but hopefully everything goes smooth and the shooting only takes maybe three months and then you know they can take a few months to spend time in post finalize some stuff uh and just go from there and put out a successful second season to a already successful tv series and the fact that again this franchise has managed to jump from movies to tv with this much success and this character has been around for so long like 30 plus years at this point and having this type of success on tv when you've been doing it this long as a staple in the horror friend in the horror genre that's very impressive that's very impressive. I, mean, we're, I think we're all lucky to have Brad Dorf back as the as the voice of Chucky, Charles Lee Ray, when he's playing the in-person character of Charles Lee Ray. I think we're all lucky to have him back. We're lucky to have Fiona Dorf, uh, who did a great job portraying her father during those flashbacks from season one. Jennifer Tilly, Alex Vincent, who we know is playing Andy Barkley. Just incredibly blessed and privileged to have this if it is the last who are with them this is a fantastic thing that they have going for them so i hope the series has a good run while it does and then maybe we get one last movie but if they decide to call it quits with this tv series i'm all for it you have a lot more opportunities to develop these younger characters that we have and you can spend more time with them and you can bid farewell to the other characters like andy kyle many of you still think kyle is alive i mean i'm I don't know if anything the fact that if she's alive I think I've said this in another video if she's alive that explosion scene at the end of season one shouldn't have happened I'm just being honest that shouldn't have happened if everyone within that explosion just survived shouldn't have happened Andy survived uh Devin survived Kyle survived if that's true so it, Kyle can still be in the series but it's like if she's alive I mean you had that dramatic moment happen with really no risks taken I feel like you should have took a risk there. <laughs> Andy being alive was fine. But if we find out Kyle was alive too, it's like, oh, well, I, man, I, I wish one of them would have died. If you're going to put that out there, take some risk with your show. Devin dying, that would have been a little bit harsher for me only because we just met Jake and <laughs> Jake has already dealt with so much. Andy and Kyle, they've grown and matured. Yes, they have their trauma, but I could have dealt with losing them more so than watching this newer character who's had a great arc so far now in the finale he's losing his boyfriend and that we have to deal with that in season two 
I would rather one of the OGs go out. So if Kyle is alive, I mean, I'm not going to be unhappy about it. I just would have some criticisms in regards to that whole explosion that went on. Because like, well, why did you do that? It was so unnecessary, in my opinion, at that point. Of course, it was done to create dramatic interest, which it did. But the fact that no risks were taken from that uh, kind of just is a bummer to me. Uh, I think Christina Lee is a fantastic actress and I love that character. But it's just, you know, if all those people survived like that, I mean, Jesus, <laughs> why did you do that scene? But who knows what they'll do with season two. Again, I'm hoping that they give us an arc regarding Ch Chucky and his army and what's going on with Tiffany and that little road trip she has going on with Andy Barkley. Since again, we saw him pop up at the end of the first season. Hopefully we'll get to see Glenn and Glinda because we know that they get referenced in the end of the first season from Jennifer herself or Tiffany, I meant to say. And hopefully we just get some more background details about Charles Lee Ray. And I, again, I can't stress this enough. I love how we got a background for him that wasn't rooted in, you know, I was bullied. I was abused. It wasn't any of those things. Sure, those are some type of factors involved. Maybe they haven't been addressed yet. But from what we've seen, this is just an individual who very much so has a similar origin to Michael Myers. One day he just went insane. Not to say there wasn't contributing factors. Because again, he witnessed his father get killed. He seemed to be just someone who was very full of hate. Um, and they, they make it a point to say that some of the best some of the best killers are just born. That's that's what he was. There was no real rhyme or reason to why he's doing what he's doing. There was just something very off about this child, similar to Michael Myers, which I think was very nicely done. We're seeing his youth, but we're not seeing anything pinpointing why he's like this. He he just is. He's just sick. He's just deranged. He's just a very troubled little boy who grew up to be a very troubled man, inflicting harm on a lot of people. So I like that aspect. I like that angle. So if we get to see more of this young upbringing of charles hopefully it doesn't give us something that says you know this is why i'm doing this if it does i mean don't make it overly sentimental to, to the point where now i feel sorry for chucky <laughs> uh but let me know what you guys think about chucky season two filming in april down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video